and welcome to Lost Aquarius channel and the question for today's video was raised by Novak in his video that's called uh, Retrovopal Physical Game Media How Long Will It Last? Uh, so I'm not uh, that uh, experienced with uh, really old compact discs because in yeah I was born in uh, 87 and that means uh, that uh, I've got my first computer, well, not exactly mine, my father's computer was a uh, ZX Spectrum clone and I will maybe put a picture of it uh, somewhere on the screen so that was a tape and then uh, tapes like this, but of course not light sensed because over here in Belarus we had no uh, light sensed software for ZX Spectrum uh, at all, maybe a few things produced like here in and uh, in Russia and Ukraine uh, were distributed distributed more or less in licensed way uh, but uh, Western software no just pirate copies uh, and then we had like these diskettes with various types of programs not only games but for example here you have uh, is DOS operation system with some sort of copier uh, program and uh, Lotus, I believe, is since it's called Lot Edit or Edit, uh, it's probably some text editor. I don't remember at all. Uh, and uh, is DOS was an uh, operation system that kind of similar to MS DOS, well, not exactly compatible, uh, but imagine MS DOS with uh, integrated uh, uh, Norton Commander or a shell like that. So yeah, it had. Uh, some uh, editors like text editors, graphic editors, uh, databases, some uh, accountant software. So it was uh, used uh, in real kind of uh, places, uh, at least in the 90s for the first half. Uh, and uh, we had uh, uh, these kind of diskettes, uh, not exactly Soviet, maybe they uh, were produced in the USSR too, but uh, uh, since it was in Ukraine, today is Ukraine, uh, in Kiev, uh, factory called uh, Electron Mash, I believe, Mash for Machine, that's short, uh, GMD 130, uh, double density, double side, 80 tracks, of course, uh, here it was formatted mostly for uh, tier DOS by Technology Research, uh, popular interface for floppies here, and uh, while uh, these cassettes are quite fine and uh, old cassettes, even like uh, Soviet uh, brands like MK90 uh, 90 for 90 minutes cassette was uh, kind of okayish and uh, we preferred the uh, high quality stuff like maybe TDK, TDK or uh, stuff like that. Uh, but uh, uh, these cassettes are fine. Anyway, not all uh, games are, are good, but they are loading. Uh, with this stuff I had a problem only because, well, it loads, but the thing is uh, I have uh, uh, currently ZX Spectrum, that is ZX Spectrum model plus 2A, made by Amstrad, and it's not exactly compatible with 48 kilobyte games, or at least with uh, not with all of them. So Lord Runner doesn't run, but yeah, you can see that cassette itself is fine, and I've played a bit, even I think on my channel, uh, in my video about uh, Plus Day when I've got it uh, with this game and uh, Monty on the run too, not the easiest game to play by the way, and those cassettes are fine, and many of floppy disks, or at least uh, diskettes of uh, five and a quarter inch format are gone bad and uh, they are no longer working. So uh, that sort of stuff is not exactly reliable. Maybe uh, three and a half uh, inch diskettes better, but I have never used it, uh, never used them with uh, ZX Spectrum because we only had like uh, uh, five and a quarter inch drives. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and most of the software were distributed on the diskettes like this. Uh, so, my theory is that uh, 
uh, bad uh, cassettes are already dead and only ones uh, that uh, you currently can get in more or less decent shape are quite decent and uh, they will probably uh, through another like 10 years maybe they will reach well maybe not exactly 20 uh, 26 but maybe 20 for 25 of course uh, if they are not produced but not being produced that means that you have to make a copy from them uh, and play it on emulator and maybe or maybe some uh, interface like uh, uh, div mmc enjoy but uh, yeah i think uh, uh, cassettes actually much better than i expected especially at the times of uh, uh, when i played actively using those cassettes so i have quite a lot of diskettes but yeah <laughs> they are not exactly best to store that's for sure and uh, when we are talking about uh, compact discs i don't have all the discs but i've heard that they are not re too reliable too especially like uh, really old stuff that was produced in the 80s and today the situation is better but it's still not like lifetime warranty no no it's like uh, yeah lifetime that means a lifetime of a disc not human because it won't live through 100 years or just 50 years i don't think so and uh, yeah just it's not exactly cd but this sort of stuff well it's better for storage but uh, not too reliable because here it is can be easily scratched by uh, not uh, kind of good or damaged uh, worn out drive and uh, to store it kind of maybe a bit of dig for the whole thing but uh, for old or retro systems cassettes actually quite good cartridges of course that spectrum never had any cartridges except maybe like uh, Timex stuff licensed in US, not very popular at all. Oh yeah, I found the box. Of course, those are Chinese or Russian clones, but uh, this sort of cards, they are kinda good too. I mean, uh, some of them are pretty old, or maybe not produced in the 80s, but in the 90s, but still working great. And of course, uh, chips will degrade. Uh, with the time, but uh, yeah, it's not that complicated. I mean, that's just one uh, chip and like maybe a few resistors. That's it, so not much to fail, uh, really. Especially that considering uh, quite old, uh, like technical processor, uh, that means that uh, size of an element of a transistor is pretty large. So uh, when you have that sort of scale. Uh, with uh, components not uh, packed a lot, uh, not uh, that dense, uh, it's working quite good. And this is a more modern-ish cartridge, made in Russia, I think, yeah. Uh, so, my final thoughts are that cassettes are actually quite good, of course, I'm not telling that you should store your uh, games or software on cassettes because yeah that might be maybe not the best idea and if you have uh, this stuff working or this stuff working you should probably make a copy uh, to store it on your computer in your maybe on some cloud service and to make sure that uh, you could uh, at least put it on SD card and put it into uh, DVMC enjoy or maybe if you will find uh, a new disk or diskette how you would say and here I have by the way one uh, this box and the second one uh, it's under this camera that I'm recording with I've got a chance or I had got a chance uh, to catch up all those boxes 10 diskettes each uh, 3M diskettes Highland brand uh, and uh, they probably are pretty good uh, components it says produced 
uh, in uh, USA and uh, assembled in Taiwan. Uh, so should be pretty good. Uh, as you can see, unpackaged. This sort of uh, film is still untouched. Uh, so I don't think moisture uh, could uh, get inside. So. Uh, if I will ever have some five and a quarter inch uh, disk drive or maybe a system, retro gaming system with sort of this sort of drives, I will test them out uh, as well. So thanks for watching. Tell me what do you think uh, about uh, how long will physical media last, and maybe make an answer to uh, this video or to original uh, video by Novak. I will link uh, his channel and uh, a link uh, will give a link to uh, the original video that uh, raised this question. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, or maybe to not the channel but to my Twitter. That is last of what to and uh, see you later.